Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang derivative of ln or the natural logarithm. Ang ln, this is equivalent to the logarithm na merong base e. Where yung e is a mathematical constant that is the Euler's number. Kapag kukuha tayo ng derivative niya, the derivative with respect to x of ln of x is simply 1 over x. Kaya madali lang gamitin yung formula. And also, since ang ln is just logarithm of base e, meron tayong irerecall na certain laws or rules of logarithm para mas madali natin siyang makuha na ng derivative. So let's start with our first example. We have y is equal to ln of x cubed. Madaling kumuha ng derivative kapag ang given natin ay ln of x. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong exponent na 3. Meron dalawang paraan para masolve to. Number 1 is you apply chain rule of differentiation. Ilelet natin yung x cubed as u. And then pwede na tayong kumuha ng derivative or pwede naman na gumamit tayo ng logarithm of a power. Kasi if you are given with logarithm of certain m raised to an exponent n, yung exponent pwede natin siyang ibaba at i-multiply dun sa buong logarithm. So this is also equal to ibababa si n, n logarithm of m. This is by applying the logarithm of a power. In our example, ang exponent ang n is 3. Kaya ibababa siya, so we have y. This is also equivalent to bringing down 3 ln of x. Tapos etong ln of x, pwede na natin siyang kuhana ng derivative. Then getting its derivative, dy over dx is just equal to constant multiple, ilalabas lang natin si 3. Tapos once we get the derivative with respect to x ng ln of x, applying our formula, this is just equal to derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, so this is 3 times 1 over x. Now, multiply na lang tayo, numerator times numerator, 3 times 1, our dy over dx, this is simply equal to 3 over x. This is the derivative of our given function. For this topic, kailangan na maging familiar tayo sa different na laws or rules of logarithm para hindi na tayo mahirapan sa pagkuha ng derivative niya. Kasi once na-reduce na yung given to 3 ln of x, madali na siyang kuha na ng derivative. This is for our first example. Now, let us go sa ating pangalawang example for the derivative of ln. We have y is equal to ln of 2x minus 4 raised to 3. Same concept here, meron tayong 3 na exponent na nandito. So, applying derivative of a power, pwede natin siyang ibaba. So, we have here y is equal to, ibababa si 3, 3 times the ln of 2x minus 4. Tapos, ang problema naman natin is yung nasa loob, 2x minus 4. So, we have no choice but to use chain rule of differentiation. Ang gagawin natin, ilelet natin yung nasa loob as u. We let u be equal to yung nasa loob na 2x minus 4. Kaya yung y natin, this will just become equal to 3 ln, tapos yung nasa loob, 2x minus 4, nilet natin siya as u, so this is ln of u. Now we get its derivative using chain rule. Recall lang ulit tayo. If you are getting the derivative of y with respect to x, kuhanin muna natin yung derivative ng y with respect to u, Tapos, i-multiply. This is our outer function. I-multiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nilet natin as u. Derivative of u, that is 2x minus 4 with respect to x using chain rule of differentiation. Now, we substitute. This is equal to, kuhanin yung derivative with respect to u. Yung y natin is 3 ln of u. So, this is 3 ln of u multiplied to derivative with respect to x nung u, that is 2x minus 4. So, we write down 2x minus 4. Then, derivative of constant multiple, we have constant na nakamultiply dito, so pwede natin siyang ilabas ng derivative operator. So, this is equal to bringing out 3, 3, derivative with respect to u, ang naiwan sa loob is ln of u. And then, imumultiply natin siya sa derivative with respect to x ng 2x minus 4. Now, we apply our derivative formulas. Sabi nga natin, ang derivative ng ln of u is just 1 over u. Kaya etong part na to, applying that formula, we have 3 times. Derivative of ln of u is 1 over u. Pwede na natin siyang gawin kasi kumukuha tayo ng derivative with respect to u. And then, imumultiply siya sa derivative ng 2x minus 4. So, constant si 2. And then, applying power rule of differentiation, ang derivative ng x is just equal to 1. 
So you have 2 times 1 minus yung 4, this is a constant. Ang derivative ng kahit na anong constant is this equal to 0. Kaya this will become 2 times 1 minus 0. That is the derivative of 4. Now we just have to simplify this one. Multiply tayo. 3 times 1 is 3 divided by u. So this will become 3 over u. Tapos nakamultiply tayo sa 2 times 1 is 2 minus 0 is still 2. And then this is equal to 3 times 2. This is 6. Sulat natin dito over u. Balikan na lang natin siya in terms of x. Ano yung u? As you go back here, our u is 2x minus 4. So we have our dy over dx. That is equal to 6 all over. As we remember, ang u is 2x minus 4. So this is 6 over 2x minus 4. This is the derivative of our given function. Madali na namang kumuha ng derivative ng ln of u. Medyo nagtrabaho lang tayo dito sa chain rule. Pero once na set up na naman natin lahat, then madali na siyang kuha na ng derivative. Ito na yung sagot. For example, number 2, punta tayo sa pangatlong example sa pagkuha ng derivative ng ln. So you have y is equal to ln of square root of x minus 1 over x squared minus 6. Medyo komplikado pa tignan yung given, kaya bago natin siya kuha ng derivative, simplify muna natin siya. Since meron tayong square root, para mas madali tayong makakuha ng derivative, ililipat muna natin siya into its exponential form. Kasi as we recall, if we are given with x raised to a, tapos kinukuha natin yung root niya as b, this is just equal to x raised to a, siya yung nasa numerator, yung nasa loob, tapos yung b, yung root, siya yung nasa denominator. Since eto, pwede mo siyang lagyan na exponent na 1, tapos this is square root, so 2 ang root, pwede natin tong ilipat as x minus 1 raised to 1 half. So isulat natin siya, y is equal to ln, rewriting it down, we have x minus 1, tapos yung square root ay magiging raised to 1 over 2. Then this is still all over x squared minus 6. Meron pa rin tayong fraction na involved. Kaya we will be applying another law which is the logarithm of a quotient. Kasi as we recall, if we have the logarithm of a certain m function over n, pwede natin siyang gawin as logarithm of m, kuhanin yung nasa numerator minus, dahil ang operation ay division, pwede natin gawing m minus logarithm of n. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin kuhanin yung logarithm nila separately. Yung nasa numerator, siya yung nasa una, tapos dahil division minus logarithm nung nasa denominator. So this is logarithm of a quotient. Ngayon, palitan natin, eto yung m, yung x minus 1 raised to 1 half, tapos yung n, yung x squared minus 6. So this is still equal to, dahil ang ln is also a logarithm, logarithm base e, pwede natin siyang ihualay, so you have ln of yung una, we have x minus 1 raised to 1 half, and then division, we subtract, yung pangalawa naman, yung nasa denominator, we have ln of x squared minus 6. With this, pwede natin kuhanin yung logarithm separately, pero eto, yung 1 half, dahil power siya, applying logarithm of a power, pwede rin natin siyang ibaba. So we have y is equal to 1 half ln, Tapos ang natira na lang sa loob is x minus 1 minus ln of x squared minus 6. Now, pwede na natin silang kuhana ng derivative. Ang problema natin, x minus 1 to tsaka x squared minus 6. So, we still have to apply chain rule of differentiation separately. Magsimula tayo dito. We let u be equal to x minus 1. Tapos sa kabila, we let v be equal to x squared minus 6. Gumamit tayo ng magkaibang variable para alam natin na magkaiba yung dalawa. Rewriting our equation, we have y is equal to 1 half tapos ln x minus 1 will become u, ln of u minus x squared minus 6 will become v, so this is ln of v. Now, dito na tayo talaga gagamit ang chain rule. So, getting their derivative, we have dy over dx is equal to Ilalabas na natin si 1 half dahil constant siya, applying derivative of constant multiple, bringing out 1 half, tapos imumultiply siya sa derivative ng ln of u, which is just 1 over u, tapos applying chain rule, imumultiply sa derivative ng u with respect to x naman, so we have derivative of x is just 1, 
Tapos, derivative of 1, this is a constant, is just equal to 0. So, we have 1 minus 0. Then, tuloy tayo dun sa pangalawang term. We get the same operation, subtraction, minus ln of v. Kuhanin natin yung derivative ng ln of v. That is just equal to 1 over v. Tapos, multiply siya sa derivative naman ng v with respect to x, applying chain rule. So, x squared minus 6, ang derivative nito, applying power rule, Ibababa sa exponent, so you have 2 times x, tapos bawasan to ng isa, 2 minus 1 is just 1, so this is 2x raised to 1, or simply 2x, and then minus, this is 6 constant, ang derivative ng constant is just equal to 0, this is by applying our derivative of a constant. Again, gumamit lang tayo ng chain rule, kay 1 half ln of u dito, tapos gumamit pa tayo ng isa pang chain rule for ln of v. Now, we only have to simplify this one. So, we have yung nasa labas, 1 over 2, multiplied to 1 minus 0 is 1. Tapos, kapag ka nag-multiply ka ng 1 kay 1 over u, this is still 1 over u. And then, minus, yung nasa kabila naman, we have 1 over v. Tapos, mag-multiply tayo kay 2x minus 0. So, 2x minus 0 is just 2x times 1 over v. Isulat na pala natin directly. This is just equal to... 2x all over v. Now, we perform our multiplication here. Dapat pala sinabay na natin. So, this is equal to 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times u is 2u. So, we have 2u minus 2x all over v. Ngayon, ibalik na lang natin siya in terms of x. As we recall, our u is x minus 1. Tapos ang v ay x squared minus 6. Bringing it down here. So, we have dy over dx. That is equal to 1 over 2 times u, ang u is x minus 1. So, this is 2 times x minus 1. And then, we follow the same operation. Minus, we have 2x all over v. Ang v natin is x squared minus 6. So, this is over x squared minus 6. Now, this is the derivative of our given function. Gumamit tayo ng derivative of ln kasabay ng chain rule of differentiation. This is it for our third example. Now, pwede na tayong tumuloy sa ating pang-apat at huling example for this lecture video. We have y is equal to ln of ln of 5x raised to the fourth. Mukha lang siyang komplikado kasi meron tayong ln within ln, pero we can just apply chain rule of differentiation para makuha to. Dalawang beses tayong gagamit ng chain rule. So with this, simplify muna natin yung given. Ilet natin as u yung nasa loob. So we let u be equal to ln of 5x raised to the fourth. Tapos, dahil kukuhanin din naman natin yung derivative nito, we let v be equal to dun sa nasa loob ng ln, that is 5x raised to the fourth. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin to, we can let our u be equal to ln in terms of v. Yung 5x raised to the fourth ay gagawin na natin v, so this is ln of v. Ito yung pwede natin magamit na maya pagdating sa chain rule. So now, let us apply chain rule of differentiation. Our y will already become ln of, yung ln of 5x raised to the fourth will become u, so this is ln of u. Now, we apply chain rule twice, getting the derivative, we have dy over dx is equal to derivative ng y muna with respect to u, tapos i-multiply natin siya dun sa derivative ng u, our u is already equal to ln of v with respect to v naman, and then saka siya i-multiply sa derivative ng v, pwede na natin siyang gawin with respect to x. Kasi 5x raised to the fourth na to. So, we have derivative of v with respect to x. Now, applying chain rule dito sa values na meron tayo. So, this is equal to derivative with respect to u ng y that is ln of u. So, derivative with respect to u of ln of u multiplied to derivative with respect to v of our u that is ln of v. Tapos, multiply siya sa derivative with respect to x, nung last natin, that is v, which is 5x raised to the fourth. Ito, derivative ng ln, yung dalawa, ito, power lang. Kaya madali na siyang kuhana ng derivative. Now, let us start. This is equal to ln of u is just equal to 1 over u. Isulat natin siya, 1 over u multiplied to ln of v. Dahil kumukuha tayo ng derivative with respect to v, this is also equal to 1 over v. And then multiplied to applying power rule dito naman. Ilabas si 5, power rule, ibababa si 4, so this is 5 times 4 times x. Tapos bawasan ng isa yung exponent, so we have 
4 minus 1, this will become x cubed. Now, we simplify. This is equal to 1 over u. Isulat lang natin. Or we can multiply directly. So, we have 1 times 1 is 1. Times 5 times 4 is 20x cubed. Ilagay na natin sa numerator. We have 20x cubed over. Ang nasa denominator lang natin ay yung products ng u and v. So, isulat natin over u and then v. With this, zoom out tayo para makita natin yung value ng u and v sa taas. Our u in terms of x, we have ln of 5x raised to the fourth. Ang v naman natin ay 5x raised to the fourth. So, ipapalit natin sila dito. So, iaangat natin para mas makita yung values. So, this is just equal to 20x cubed all over. Our u is ln of 5x raised to the fourth. And then, this is multiplied to 5x raised to the fourth. This is our v. So, we have u here. Tapos ang v ay 5x raised to the fourth. Pero para mas maganda siyang tignan, siguro ilipat ko yung 5x raised to the fourth sa kabila. And then we can perform division here. So we have, this is still equal to, rearranging our terms, 20x cubed over, so nasa baba, 5x raised to the fourth, multiplied to ln of 5x raised to the fourth. And then 20 divided by 5, this is just equal to 4. Kaya pa tong simplify So this is just equal to, our dy over dx is simply 4x cubed all over x raised to the fourth times ln of 5x raised to the fourth. So extend natin siya. This is the derivative of our function. We applied chain rule of differentiation twice for this example. Again, madali lang naman kumuha ng derivative ng ln. Medyo nagiging komplikado lang tayo kapag meron ng ibang rules na involved sa computation. This is it for our tutorial video para sa derivative of ln. Thank you for watching.